Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the changes to the Pencil Tool in Illustrator CC. Changes that make the Pencil Tool a whole lot easier to use and which mean that you might reach for it in place of the Pen Tool in future. In this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at the new Pencil Tool in Illustrator CC. But before we do that, let's start in Illustrator CS6 and just see what the Pencil Tool used to be like so we can see just how advantageous the new tool is. I'm going to click here on the Pencil Tool. It shares a toolbar position with the Smooth and the Path Eraser Tool and that's the same in Illustrator CC. I have a blue colour set up as my stroke and I have a reasonably large brush size so that we can see what the pencil tool looks like and it's drawing a stroke. Now inside there are some nodes or some anchors along the path and depending on how I have the pencil tool set up there will be more or less of those anchors. To set it up we'll double click on the pencil tool Fidelity allows us to tell the pencil tool to be fairly accurate towards the shape that we're drawing and smoothness will give it a smooth path, less anchor points. We can keep the path selected which is typically what you'd want to do so that you can continue drawing. You can edit selected paths and you have a within option which just sets up how close you have to be to the end of a path to be able to continue to work on it. I'll click OK. You can see that when I get really close to the end of this path, that little asterisk below the pencil disappears. That tells me that I'm close enough to that path to continue working on it. If I'm not close enough and I see the asterisk, then my new line is going to be just that, a new pencil line. I'm close, I can continue to draw. One of the limits with the pencil tool in Illustrator CS6 and earlier was it was very difficult to change direction. I'm pretty close to this anchor point now. Let's see what happens when I go and try to change direction. Well, I've lost my path entirely. It's really difficult to change direction that sharply. I can try and go around, but you can see I'm not getting nice pencil shapes and if I really wanted this to look like an arch attached to that line, that's not what I'm getting. I've lost that point. So there were limits with the pencil tool. But one of the things you could always do and can still do is sort of draw across a path to smooth it. Now that wasn't ideal, but let's see if we can smooth it a bit better here. By just drawing across a selected path, the path has to be selected and this one is, we can smooth out these points using the pencil tool. It's also possible to realign the path so you can sort of draw in here and try and bring the path in. Now this doesn't always work so you want to have your fingers over the Control Z keys just in case you need to undo it, but it is possible to realign the path. Just might need a little bit of patience to do so. So now that we've had a look at the Pencil Tool and some of its limits in Illustrator CS6, let's go to Illustrator CC and see the differences. Now we're here in Illustrator CC and having a look at the Pencil Tool. It shares the same toolbar position as it always did. I've got a colour selected and a four point line. I'm just going to double click the Pencil Tool and you'll see that this time we just have one slider for fidelity. We can go accurate which is going to give us a lot of points along the path, a lot of anchors, to smooth which is going to give us less of those and we can choose some sort of option in there. We still have the option to fill all new pencil strokes. We can still keep the path selected. We can still edit selected paths, of course, whether they be drawn by the pencil tool or some other tool. And then we have this within option which lets us determine how close we need to be to an existing path to be able to continue on it. So I'm going to keep these options selected and let's just go and see what happens when we draw with the new pencil tool. Well, exactly the same as what happened before and we've got a nice smooth path because I was pretty close in the smooth options. But let's look and see what happens when I position myself close to the end of the existing path. Instead of this little asterisk appearing below the pencil tool, we now get a little dashed line and that's telling me I'm close enough to continue along with my line. I'm going to do that and look what happens when I want to change direction. This time it's really easy for me to change direction. 
Illustrator is going to know what I'm doing and it's going to allow me to do that. Now let's just wind that last line back and let's see what's happening. I'm clicking close to this existing anchor point because I want to join these together. But when I get close to the end of this shape, instead of that little dash or the asterisk, I'm now seeing a little O, a little circle that's hollow. And that tells me that Illustrator is going to join this up into a shape if I hover over that point and let go. So we've got additional features in the pencil tool. Not only can we change direction very, very easily, but we can also start to fill shapes or create potentially fillable shapes. I'm just going to flip now the stroke and fill colors and you can see that we have a filled stroke. Now one of the other things that we can do with the pencil tool is we can actually draw straight lines. So I can just hold my pencil tool down and hold the shift key and that allows me to constrain my line to a straight line. I seem to have lost my width here. So let's do that again, straight line. Now this straight line is also a 45 degree line and a 90 degree. So we can draw at either horizontal, vertical or a 45 degree and we can combine that. So we can actually can combine a straight line with a curved line. So I think that you're going to find the new pencil tool in Illustrator is going to be a very, very good alternative to using the pen tool because it's just so smart. It still has the ability for you to edit lines so you can still do this editing process if you want to, but it's got so many more features. It's so much easier to use. It allows you to create closed shapes. You can draw straight lines and you can change angles. So there's a lot of things to like about this new pencil tool and I think they're beginning to intermediate Illustrator users who really don't want to have to deal with the pen tool all the time will find that this is a really, really nice way to be working. So there's the new pencil tool in Illustrator CC. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released and visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Illustrator, Photoshop, Lightroom and a whole lot more.